Next we have Hedda Sway from the Research School of Finance, Actuarial Studies and Applied Statistics in the ANU College of Business and Economics. And the title of Hedda's three minute thesis tonight is The Glass Cliff. This is a photo of my husband and me when we were kids. No Photoshop. We grew up together, went to the same schools all the way, and they even had the same outfit. Who do you think had a bigger chance of being a CEO in the future? If you thought it was my husband, you are correct. In 2020, only 5.8% of big company CEOs in the US are female. Those women have broken through the glass ceiling, but now seem to be standing on the edge of glass cliff. The glass cliff describes the idea that when a company is in trouble, a female leader is more likely to put in charge. For example, when Marissa Mayer became Yahoo's CEO, she inherited the underperforming company and faced a mounting pressure to turn it around. We hear stories like this all the time, but this research asks, is glass cliff for only special case or statistically a pattern in CEO's appointments? Using a sample of over 5,000 CEO's appointments of US listed firm over 20 years, my research proved that glass cliff is real, that underperforming companies are more likely to appoint female CEOs. Then we must ask, why is it happening? We have access to two reasons. In my opinion, gender discrimination leaves women with less opportunities and they're considered only when men stay away. Sometimes that's the only opportunity they have to grab on in order to rise. Alternatively, could it be that women are perceived as a savior? Are those companies running crying for money when panic? When time's tough, Suddenly, the women is the right man for the job. I've tested two hypotheses using statistic and econometric analysis and find that the evidence support the discrimination hypothesis. I also find that women are more necessarily a savior. Those underperforming companies that appoint female CEOs do not experience performance improvement. To sum up, when the situation is really bad, people call in the women, but it doesn't always help. My research makes us question the common practice of hiring women only to put them on the edge of glass cliff. Boys and girls who are similar, like my husband and me, should have the same opportunities to shine.